This video is about structural models that are nonlinear in variables. For example, here we have uh, a quadratic model, so it is nonlinear in x. And as in the linear case, uh, by structural we mean this model has a causal meaning, and similarly this error term u has a causal meaning. This is everything that's not in the quadratic function of x that determines y. So also as in the linear case, uh, it could be that u satisfies some nice statistical properties, or it may not. So we can imagine if we drew a graph of x and y, and maybe we draw the quadratic part, it looks something like that. Uh, we could imagine that, unfortunately, the things besides x that affect y, uh, maybe when x is really low, they tend to be high, in which case if u is positive, that means we'll get uh, y values that are higher than the quadratic function of x. Sometimes we'll get some lower ones too, but imagine they tend to be higher. And conversely, when x is really high, we tend to get negative u values, which will tend to give us points below the line. And in the middle, we'll get something in the middle. Uh, so if we were to look at these green dots, uh, we would see a much flatter or even decreasing sort of function, even if we allow it to have some nonlinearity. So in that case, uh, our structural model is not identified. And if we were to run OLS, even with our nonlinear model, we will not properly estimate these causal parameters in the model. Uh, instead, what we need is we need uh, the u to satisfy this conditional mean zero property. So if we think about what that would look like, instead of the green dots being mostly above the line for small x, we would have some above, but we'd also have some below. It would be more balanced out. And similarly, even when x is large, conditional on whatever x we have, the u's will average out to zero. So we'll always be uh, at least on average, centered around the line. And then if we run OLS, we'll be able to get something at least pretty close to uh, the true function that we're trying to estimate. So this conditional mean property uh, means that the structural function is also the conditional mean function, which then lets us estimate it using OLS. Now, if we estimate this model and now we want to interpret uh, it in terms of the average structural effect of x on y, we can use the same ideas from before when we were thinking not necessarily about a structural model, but just about a nonlinear function. So if we're interested in what happens when uh, we increase from x1 to x2, 
what we would want is to just plug in those two values. So if we have x1 and x2, we can go up to our function and find the difference between those. Uh, so once we've estimated our model to get our estimated m hat function, then our estimated average structural effects, we're going from 11 to 12. We just plug in 11 and 12 and subtract. 